What is up, you guys? Today we have a very special video. As you can see, I have the shutter behind me, but she's not part of the video today. Today, we will be working on this beautiful STI. We will be installing some speakers on all four doors and also applying some sound deadening so it can sound really good. This is what we got. So we have a screw there, screw there. You pop all around the door panel, slide it upwards, get it off. You unhook those two, these two things from the door handle. And then you have these connectors. This is a connector I can't get off for some reason. So I'm just gonna leave the door panel like that for now. And let's check out the new speakers. Sound detonin that fell all out. Alright, this is that's our sound detonin. My buddy actually bought this. this is a, I don't I think he got it from audio shop here locally. Um so this is the sound detonin we will be using. These are the speakers. Check out the speakers. Alright. So apparently these are genuine upgrades from Subaru made by Kicker. So you can see there's a Kicker logo right there. Um, and so these are supposed to be a plug and play. They're just like an OEM upgrade. So you have the tweeters here. Check out one of the speakers. This is one of the speakers. I'm not sure if this is front or rear. Let's see, 50 watts RMS, 100 watts max. They're made by Kicker. These are coaxials. They look pretty nice. They definitely look a lot better than that Pioneer. So this one's in that driver's front door. This is what's gonna be going in. Definitely a lot better, this speaker. I'm assuming these are the fronts right here and I think these will be the rears I will confirm these look very nice I'm very excited kicker Subaru props to you for making these upgrade like this is an aftermarket speaker I can tell because it's pioneer and this looks trash compared to this kicker can't wait to put these in and hear hear how they sound. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the rest of these door panels. Give you a quick time lapse of that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take off all four door panels. That way we can go ahead and mount all these speakers in, apply sound in into all the doors, and let's hear how they sound.
All right, guys, so I have all four door panels removed. I have all four speakers removed. These are the old speakers. Um, so these are aftermarket speakers that are not OEM. Uh, turns out the owner, either the owner now or the owner before installed these three-way pioneers and they're honestly trashed. The owner now, oh, look at that, that tweeter's ripped. I don't know if I ripped it now or if it was already ripped. But the owner now of this STI did tell me that one of the speakers was crackling. So it was definitely time for upgrade. Got this, all the door panels off, all the speakers off. As you can see, they do have adapters on here. Um, so I'm assuming I'm gonna have to take these adapters off because those speakers are OEM upgrades. So they're supposed to just mount right into the car. There's no like wire or anything needed, just plug and play. And yeah, all I'm gonna do is apply some sound deadening in uh, some, some, some areas, definitely inside here. Definitely gonna want some sound deadening in there and in some other areas. Just gotta see where, but yeah, guys. Looking good. All right, so in here on the driver's side, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this cover off so we can expose the tweeter. What in the? So it looks like they have an adapter on some wood with some electrical tape. I think the tweeter was broken or something. I just broke the wood. I mean, I guess so. What is this mess? Look at this shit. What the fuck? What in the hell? I guess look, I guess they had to use the OEM speaker thing. They tapped into that. And I I don't know. Fuck all of this shit though. We don't need any of this. We just need to unclip this. There we go. So this right here, all this this is trash. That's trash. Luckily, the ones we have are just OEM upgrades, so they just plug in here, we put them in there, secure them, put that cover back on, and that's gonna be it. Same for the other side. So let's go ahead and get that started. Guys, do not do this. If you're gonna make an adapter, I highly suggest just get some ABS plastic. Definitely do not use wood. I mean, wood works, but it is not something, it is, it's not the best option. Do not do what this guy did. All right, now that we got all of this junk removed, first we're gonna go ahead and start with the tweeters. Start here on the pass, the driver's side, I mean. So you can see, all you do is connect it. Connector, connection. Look, look, I'm about to do this one-handed so you can see how fucking easy it is. It is a lot harder one-handed. After two hours of struggling. Ah, ah, I got it. That's it. Plug in, put it in there, and secure it. Luckily, whoever did that jank ass job still used the OEM bolts. So we can still use those OEM bolts. Just put those in there. Start them off by hand. Look at that. Look at that. See how much simpler that looks. No wood, just plug in, plug A, no wiring. Just literally plug them in, put them in, secure them. And that is it for the tweeters. I just have to tighten those bolts down, but that's pretty much it. Now for the other side. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Look at the wheels. Boobaroo. Same thing on the passenger side. Connector, connection. It's gonna slide that in there. Right, right there. Come on, right, right, right about right there. Look at that. You heard that click? That's a nice click. We like that click. Line it up right there with them holes right there. Get your bolts. Put them in there. And we tighten it down.
All right, we plugged them in. All we have to do is tighten down those bolts, throw this cover back on, and that's it for the tweeters. Hell yeah. All right, guys, I have the tweeters in, secure. They're not going anywhere. Now we just take this plastic cover, line that up in place, pop it in. That's it, tweeters are installed. You see that? Fucking tweeters plug in, plug in, secure them, put the cover back on, nice and easy. None of this jank ass wood shit. Look what the fuck was this, man? Seriously, this is this. What the fuck, man? Just what the fuck? Same with the passenger side. Already got it secured, plugged in, plugged A, line it up, slap that cover back on. She's Gucci. Now, let's get started on the doors. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to remove these adapters that are on there so I'll get started by removing those adapters Alright guys, this is the progress so far, you know, we have some sound dead and then right behind where the magnet of the speaker is, we have some sound dead and then where the speaker will mount. We're going to go ahead and sound dead and then everything, try to cover all these holes. Um, you, you definitely, you know, what I, what I did here, cut a slit for all the wires and stuff, you know, that way they can still come out. And this plastic piece, remember, we're still going to use that, so put us somewhere safe. Well, yeah, this is basically what you want to do. You basically just want to apply sound in then where you want it. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and tie lapse the sound in and I'll get back to you guys whenever I'm ready to put the speakers in. All right, guys, so this is what we have after I'm done. I have sound in and applied in all the areas. I covered on most of the holes. You know, I'll cover this hole, the big hole here. Just want to make sure that this doesn't interfere with the window. Um, and I got everything cut out. This right here kind of just made a slit, made it go through there. I low key did a jank job with the sound den. As you can see, I kind of just like use pieces of tape as like band aids, or not tape, but that sound den as band aids for some of the areas I missed. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. The sound and sound den is going to do the job and it's going to sound pretty good. So yeah, you basically want to do this for all the doors. Let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to install the speaker, which is pretty easy. Literally plug this in, mount it in and you're done. But uh, yeah, guys, put that speaker in. So these are definitely for the rear. If you look at it from the side view, you can see that the speakers are angled a little bit. So these will be the rears. And these are going to be our front speakers.
But yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. Have the door panel removed and remove the old speakers. The these um, like I said, these are OEM upgrades. Um, Kicker and Subaru have made these speakers for the Subaru STI. I'm not sure if they fit the Impreza's. Um, this is an STI though. I'm not sure what year. I have to ask my buddy. I think it's like a. Let's find out. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the VIN here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. F A B C D E F six. So I, I'm assuming this is a 2016 WRX STI. So yeah, these are just the OEM upgrades. They literally plug and play. We sound it in the door. We're gonna go ahead and do the same on that side and on all four doors. We're gonna do exactly what we did here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a passenger side next. When I get to the rear doors, um, I'll go ahead and start filming again, just because the rear doors are just a little bit different from the front. But you wanna do exactly what I did here, sound dead and then secure the speaker in place, plug it in, and then you can start putting everything back. Gonna do the exact same thing on that side. And yeah, guys, it's looking good. Look at that, look at that speaker, dude. That is a beautiful speaker. A lot better than the three ways that were in here. But yeah, we got it all sound in. It's looking good. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you what it's gonna look like before I put the door panel back on. As you can see, everything is sound dead and then speaker is plugged up. Uh, we put the weather, the water sealant thing back on, the plastic cover. You know, we have everything back in place, everything that was removed back in place. Now, all I have to do is put that door panel back on on this door. guys so we have the front door done rear door done everything is sound deadening nice and secure i just have to finish the other side but that's the same thing as what we just did on this side so i won't really show you that um yeah once i'm done with that we'll do a sound test and yeah guys it's looking good i'm excited even though this is not my car i'm still excited to hear how the speakers are going to sound what's up you guys so I'm right now at another video that you guys just watched and I did unfortunately I unfortunately did not get the video of me sound testing the speakers in the Subaru but I can assure you that my friend um was very happy with how it sounded I was happy with how it sounded I got to hear it for a little bit um you can't really expect much from it it was pretty much just tweeters and mids um and some sound in which does does it does do the job so it did stop for steam but Still missing bass, you know? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I didn't get that sound clear for y'all. Uh, peace out. Until next time.